How about this, Brian? When you have these uh, retired generals and colonels on, let's hear what defense companies they're on the boards of. Let's hear how they had their own private companies uh, that uh, benefited off of the Iraq War, like Spider Marks. Who's I think on your CNN's program. quite careful uh, he, about those disclosures, but I agree it's it. important to have those disclosures. Well, I mean, look, the fact is that when you talk about famous generals, and this is a different network, but Barry McCaffrey, uh, you have your own spider marks. I think that the American people deserve to know what was the private sector record of these individuals when it came to the weapons industry or profiting in the private sector off of the proliferation of U.S. wars uh, that happened in Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, and elsewhere. There is not the kind of transparency uh, that is required of a truly democratic press when you're not revealing the extent to which these people have benefited in the private sector from these wars. I think there is awareness of what's been going on in Syria but for some reason, maybe people are desensitized. What, what is your view of, of the coverage? Well, uh, first of all, let's look at this in the big picture. Donald Trump mm -hmm. has given greater latitude to the military to conduct strikes with almost no regard for civilians. Just in the March, in the month of March, Brian, uh, U.S. and allied uh, forces have killed more than 1,000 civilians in Iraq and Syria. according to the nonpartisan independent group Air Wars. Uh, Trump is uh, funneling weapons and intelligence to the Saudis that are, are being used to utterly destroy uh, Yemen uh, at this point. The United States has been engaged militarily uh, in Syria for several years now, both in the form of special operations forces and increasingly conventional boots on the ground, but also just scorched earth bombing, particularly since Trump took office. And I have to say, uh, uh, Brian, that Arwa Damon is a fantastic reporter. I have great respect for her. But I think when we talk about this, CNN needs to immediately with all retired generals and colonels from its airwaves. You know, Fareed Zakaria, if that guy could have sex with this cruise missile attack, I think he would do it. Brian Williams seemed to just be in, in true love uh, with the cruise missile strike and, and in a despicable way invoking Leonard Cohen's name. I mean, the, the media coverage has been atrocious, particularly, and this is across the board on every network, particularly when the strike is happening. It's like they're, they're in awe of the cruise missiles. And look no further than Hillary Clinton, Bill Kristol, and Donald Trump once again being on the same team when it comes to these kinds of wars. Uh, the elite of both parties just uh, all get in line, and they absolutely love a cruise missile strike. Now, you have done two tours in Afghanistan. You told me you're going to go back for a, for a third tour. I mean, if you can see your, your neck right there, what you have on your tattoo, 9-11, remember, and a picture of the Twin Towers. You know, some Republicans out there have been saying that Ron Paul would be very dangerous for this country because he wants to bring troops like you back from your post from all over the world. Well, I think it would be even more dangerous to start nitpicking wars with other countries. Someone like Iran, Israel is more than capable. Of all right, we just lost our tech connection, unfortunately, with Dana. Dana, stand by. If you can hear me, we're going to get back. You want to go to Candy Crowley over at Mitt Romney headquarters. Uh, people are beginning to... You know, some Republicans out there have been saying that Ron Paul would be very dangerous for this country because he wants to bring troops like you back from your post from all over the world. Well, I think it would be even more dangerous to start nitpicking wars with other countries. Someone like Iran... Israel is more than capable of... All right, we just lost our tech connection, unfortunately, with Dana. Dana, stand by. If you can hear me, we're going to get back. You want to go to Candy Crowley over at Mitt Romney headquarters. Uh, people are beginning to...